guys so i'm back with another video so this video i wanted to do because i just graduated in may and i think it would be really helpful to anyone who is going to u of a this year or years to come if you're in high school and you're thinking about going there and you just want to know more about it if you're about to be a freshman um school actually started today the day i'm filming this so it's gonna be a little late but if you just started school there and you're a freshman you should still watch this because like advice to come so i'm gonna give you advice on just things to know and tell you about my experience and kind of like share stories and just help you guys if you're going so i don't want to make this intro too long so let's get into it oh also in the description i'll try to have like timestamps of like because i have different um i wrote down different like i just want to do a disclaimer before i start covid was my junior year of college second semester so my first two and a half years was covid free and yeah and then my last year and a half was covid so stuff does change but today when they did start school they were on campus so i feel like things will be normal again so i will talk about things kind of like they were normal um but i'll also maybe mention covid if it just like happens to come okay so the first section this is gonna be just for my black girls because Air university of arizona is a pwi which is a predominantly white institution so most of the people there are white so my experience was different than my other friends who aren't black so if you're not black skip to i'll put it right here where to skip to okay so girls <laughs> listen up it is gonna be a little bit of a different experience um and that kind of goes for everything it goes for greek life it goes for boys i didn't have like a bad time but i'm just saying it will be different there's not that many black people out i would say i had like close to black girlfriends yeah two black like close girlfriends i would say that's all i had there and i was friends with like a few black guys and like you know but i would say the black guys that do go to the school mostly like white girls not to say you won't get boys i never dated anyone let's just say but there were a lot of people i talked to a um, majority of the guys i did like talk to were white and you kind of just have to have a fine line to know where they're like fetishizing you in a way and where it's like genuine which is kind of like a weird line but like you'll just know um, and my two other girlfriends that were black we also none of us like dated had like a proper boyfriend <laughs> all of college so just don't get discouraged no it's not you no you're so beautiful even if you don't date anyone all of college that is so fine and you will definitely find someone for you and who's worth it because when i look back on it i'm so glad that i some of my friends like were in really deep relationships and then broke up and now they're looking back on it like so sad and i'm like i'm glad i can look back and be like i spent time with my friends and not this boy that like i spent months crying over you know greek life some things like if you are thinking about rushing luckily i had a very smooth rush process which i will kind of get into when i talk about greek life but the girl i saw the tiktok of the girl from university of alabama who got dropped from every single house and that was so sad i genuinely guys this is so sad i went into rush being like you may get dropped from majority of houses because of your skin color it is a pwi just know that um rush isn't everything getting picked by houses and everything getting top houses and everything do not be upset um trust the process i know that's so like basic but like just know if you don't get the house you want or whatever it wasn't meant to be and maybe those won't be your people and it'll work out um hair guys hair learn how to do your hair because there are no good hair places my friend Alyssa actually she started getting her hair braided if i know the place i'll insert it right here um 
there was a place she was getting her hair braided but i would have to go back to phoenix to get my hair braided my parents live in scottsdale so i would have to go to phoenix to get my hair braided i eventually learned how to do this style on myself i literally um youtubed like how to do your own passion twist if i can find the video i'll link it below but i learned how to do this i just went to the beauty supply store waba is a really good beauty supply store um there are two so that's where i would go i don't have the type of hair with me i wish i could show you guys the hair i get but i get like it's a let me show you this is not the brand i get in arizona but it kind of looks like this so it is just like free crochet um just like water weave hair and i get kind of like this ombre color it usually takes me about like 10 hours i know i will literally sit down a day i will plan a day usually friday because friday nights at u of a um aren't like huge party nights it's mostly thursday saturday so i'll go out thursday friday i'll har i'll hibernate all day take out my hair wash it deep condition it do my hair do it throughout the night stop at like 3 a.m go to bed wake up the next morning finish it and then be ready to go out saturday with like fresh hair and learning how to do my hair saved me so much money saved me time saved me stress because there just aren't a lot of people in the area to do your hair if you're gonna get your hair done box braids because like right before you come to school i recommend getting box braids because those will last your first like month or two at school so you're chilling for the first month or two don't have to worry about your hair. I don't know how to do wigs or weaves or any of that. So do that at your own caution. But I would say the best thing is just learning how to do your own hair, a style like this. If you know how to braid, you're golden. If you somehow find someone there who knows how to do hair, whatever. But anytime you see a black girl with her hair done, go up to her and be like, who did your hair? Where did you get your hair done? Because you might be able to find someone to do your hair that way. All right, next we have like grades, studying, the reason we're here. I know we're forget, that's why we're at school. So when I was in high school, I was like smart, like straight A student. I graduated with like a 3.98, whatever, I don't even know. Yeah, I know I go to U of A, but it's easy to get in, but it's hard to stay in. But I just didn't study. I never went to school. I would just like go to school whenever in high school and make good grades and it was fine so when I got to college it was a rude awakening when I started taking like gen chem and everything oh I didn't even tell you guys I was my major um I graduated with a bs in psychology and I'm on like a pre-pa track so pre-physician assistant so I had to take other classes that correlated with that and I did switch my major but that's the next subject so we'll get into that but so studying it is a game changer you need to take advantage of what u of a has so think tank that's a really good resource they have tutors for basically like every class i know they have like english like writing things they'll help you um i went for math all the time like all the time i went for math to help me because math at u of a it's like just a known thing their math program sucks so it's really really hard also si sessions I am, this is also if you're a science major or anything, I have more tips for if you're in the science section, because SI sessions, I don't know if they have this if, for non-science, but this is what I did for like OCHEM, Gen Chem, those classes, genetics, I went to SI sessions for those. And they have people who did really good in those classes and they'll be in different locations on campus and you meet there couple times um they have like multiple times throughout the week with different SI leaders and you just get more in depth um studying and they go over what you went over in class and the SI leaders I think sit in on your class so they know exactly what you're doing that week so it's really helpful guys you need to study I'm telling you it is so important like going out is fun and I went out all the time like add fun I went out but I did study and the semester that I did not take seriously, my sophomore year, it really messed up my GPA. My freshman year was doing pretty good. And then sophomore year completely tanked it. I had to GRO a class, which is grade replacement opportunity, where you retake the class to get a better grade. And it was just, I was like depressed though sophomore year, not gonna lie. Like mental health was bad, like stuff was bad. I was down bad a lot went down sophomore year um but it's just so important to study like going out 
it kind of is the same thing every night and there are some nights that are like way more fun than others but like I promise you it is worth it to stay in for one night to get, do good on a test and then like go out that weekend like say you have a test Friday and the going going out nights are Thursday going out nights every night at U of A University of Alcoholics but like main going out nights Thursday say you have a test Friday don't go out that Thursday for one Thursday. It's probably one Thursday. Like you can go out all the other Thursdays. That one Thursday, stay in, study, go to bed early, do good on your test. And then Saturday, which is Saturdays, Saturdays at the U of A, like you just already know, well, you're a freshman, you don't know, but if you're watching this video, but it's so worth it to just not wow and study that one night and do good on your test. So that's all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna bug you, but think tank, SI sessions, talk to your teachers, email your teachers, guys. Do not be afraid to email your teachers, talk to them. Like if your teachers know you, it will do so much better for so um, sophomore year, when I turned 20, I went to Europe for my 20th birthday and my birthday is in January. So that is the first month of school. So I got my syllabus before classes even started that um, your teachers will usually email them to you or you go on D2L and they're there. I went on D2L, saw all my tests. I saw that like whatever, I went to all my teachers on the first day of class, second semester. And I was like, hi, my name's Maddie Campbell, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to Europe. I I don't think I told them it was for my birthday. I think I said like family, whatever. This was also pre-pandemic. And I was like, I'm going to Europe, blah, 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 like for a week. Um, and I just wanted to let you know if we have tests. And they were so cool about it. Let me like take them. Um, like everything was fine because they knew me. And teachers that have um helped me more with like grades and stuff because they knew me and knew I was there engaged if you're in science classes guys ochem I sat in the front row every single day and my teacher was a hard ass and I went to her crying because I had a test and I didn't ask for the retake basically forgot I saw an answer was wrong and I whatever and she was like I will give you, if it matters that much, I will change your grade by two points, your final grade by two points, if it like matters in the end. And she was so strict about like, I do not change grades. Like she made a statement at the end of the semester. I will not change your grade. I will not bump you. But like she had told me she would bump me because I sat in the front row every single day. I always came to class. I was like that nerd in organic chemistry. And she was like, I see you in the front row. I see you trying. Yeah. So it pays off. Know your teachers. That's all I'm going to say. Hey, right. next thing we're going to talk about is switching majors. It is okay to switch your major. Sophomore year, we're going to keep going back to it. A lot happened sophomore year, so I'm going to refer to that year a lot. Um, that year changed like a lot for me. But at the end of sophomore year, I was, I freshman year, I went in as a biochem major and I wanted to go to med school. So I was like, you know, pre med, biochem. And it was really hard. Organic chem, honestly, was my breaking point. I had to take one and two. And by two, I was just sobbing every single day. I was so depressed. Like, I knew I wanted to work in the medical field still, but I didn't know. Like, I was like, I don't know. I don't think I could do med school if I can't even do undergrad like this. Like, blah, 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 blah. And then my best friend, she told me about PA and, like, she was psych major, blah, blah. I literally copied my best friend Sydney. Like, hey, Sid if you're watching she doesn't have time she's in pa school she's not watching this but yeah so i switched my major to psychology guys it is not the end of the world i literally still graduated on time they told me i wasn't going to i just had to bust my butt and take winter classes and summer classes um which sucks but like i'm done with it now and like i don't even remember like it's over with and yeah, so it's okay to switch your major. It's not the end of the world. If you don't, like you go to college, you change. You're not the same person you are when you graduate high school. So it is okay to have different interests and want to do different things. And I was luckily, it was still in the science and the class is still transferred. But like, if you want to completely start over, if you want to go from business to science or dance to communications or whatever, like do it because like you're in college to like, know what you want to do in life and you still don't have to know what you want to do when you graduate like i still want to do like 10 million different things you to change your major you'll be fine thing making friends so now on to like all the fun stuff i literally could cry like i was so lucky to find the best friends in college like oh my, i could cry i love my friends so much like starting from my freshman year roommate like ali like it was just so 
I don't even know. So making friends, um, Greek life is a huge part of U of A. So that is a great way of making friends. However, I did not, I was in Greek life. We'll get into that. But I was not in Greek life in, until my sophomore year. So I, freshman year, I had to like make friends differently. My roommate was in a house though. So through her and we were like attached at the hip. So through her, I did meet a lot of her girlfriends. But in my hall, I was just blessed with the best friends like these. So all our guy friends, we were like a family freshman year. There was a group of originally seven of us, core five of us we were just like like core five but like seven and then like eight if you want to count like floaters that came in and out we just became really close through living in the dorm guys um if because a lot of people will be in the dorm freshman year keep your door open for the first couple of days because people will walk by and just come in and out like honestly that's how i don't even really remember how we met i think Ali moved in before me so I think she met them first and then like one day they were just like in our room and we were just talking and all of a sudden we're best friends and doing everything together and like with these random boys in our hall and like to this day I'm still best friends with them like um not all of them some of them are like you know but I'm still really close with like two three of them so yeah i just would say keep your door open talk to everyone literally talk to everyone guys like you become friends with people that you wouldn't even know you would be friends with like one of my best friends <laughs> i literally tell her this but like <laughs> i did not want to be her friend at first like she was trying so hard to be my friend I'm like why are you so obsessed with me like but we're best friends I'm, i love her like to death and yeah so you just talk to everyone you don't even know like who click with so i would say in classes just sit next to people talk to people form study groups with them um people in your girls in your hall ask them to go out and you will guys you will have these like your floater friends at first i had these girls in my hall freshman year and I went out with them the first like couple weeks until I met my real friends, you know, and you go out with like girls in your hall you meet that you like kind of click with and like, eh, and, like, and this was my roommate was doing all her sorority shit and like her and another girl in our hall, Caitlin, they were like my two really good girlfriends, but they were like out doing, they were both in DG. So they were doing their like sorority stuff. And so I went out with these other girls in my hall that weren't in the house. So I was going out with them and we honestly like weren't that, I wasn't really feeling it. I knew they weren't gonna be my best friends, but I just needed people to go out with. Guys, that's how it is, literally. You're everyone, no one has friends. Everyone's trying to make friends. So you're kind of just like, oh, I'll go out with you until you meet your real friends. So I say when you're out, get to know people, actually text people. How I met one of my best friends is, um. At a party we were at a pike party and i went up to her and i was like oh my god you're so pretty and she was like thanks and we got exchanged like snapchats and we we're like we should hang out oh like that's the line you said everyone we should hang out because everyone's trying to hang out and she literally texted me or like snapped me and she was like hey what are you doing like tuesday or whatever like want to go get lunch and we actually i was like oh my god like she actually wants to hang out make plans and we went and got lunch and like i was like hey like this is so weird this is like at the end of freshman year all my girlfriends were in sororities freshman year which kind of had a thing to do with it which it's okay but it kind of was like hard to find a living situation because everyone was living in their sophomore year because that's like what a lot of girls do and after our first hangout i was like uh do you want to like live together and she was like yeah like we end up being best friends but like and living together sophomore year but like that's what i'm saying like actually text these people who you meet if you like someone at a party if you think they're cool if you really actually want to hang out with them text them and be like hey want to meet at ben's like that's where we met like ben's is like where everyone goes to get food like want to go to legal pete's like ask them to go get food or just do something and you know like you never know it could be a great friendship and you can find a roommate that way because that's what happened to me so yeah i would just say talk to literally everyone um a lot of people exchange snapchats but don't be afraid to like reach out to people past that drunk stage because you know when you are drunk everyone does want to be friends but the next morning you're kind of afraid to like make the move so actually hit these people up follow through with them make plans say yes to hang out with everyone Hang out with someone and you never know who they could bring over and who you can meet. So I've gone to hang out with people and someone comes in and I meet them and I'm like, oh my God, you're so cool. And then like you start hanging out with them and then you meet their friends and their friends. Like it's just, 
you know so hang out with everyone next one greek life um there's ugh, there's so much i could say about this so when i was a freshman it was 2017 2018 and greek life was huge <laughs> Kappa Sig, we had SAE, we had Theta Chi, all these houses now are kicked off, um, and these were all, like, huge, like, top house frats, like, at our school. I don't know if I should be, like, naming these frats in the sororities, but, like, I don't know, I'm not in college anymore, I don't care, like, whatever. We had all these huge frats that all got kicked off for various reasons, uh, not gonna get into that. It was so big like it was so big our freshman year and sophomore year you had to have wristbands um i think they are still doing wristbands like you have to have a wristband to get into a party also i rushed sophomore year and it was still a really big deal my sophomore year but when i was in junior year like pre-covid when my little came that's when all like really big houses were shut down like sigma chi was the only one that was like really still like like on the row that was like big and popping i mean there were other houses they're just the houses i went to i'm not i actually don't want to like name frats because i don't want to like sound like whatever like i'm but anyway they're just frat life wasn't as pop in junior year for any house um and my little i feel so bad for her freshman year she was kind of like uh these parties are like all right but like I just saw that frats are like now that COVID is like over frats are starting to be big again so I feel like Greek life is still going to be huge because Greek life was huge at our school like freshman year you cannot go anywhere without someone asking what sorority are you in I wasn't in a sorority so I was like ah, I don't know what to say and like it was cool but like sophomore year I was way more confident when I could like be like oh, I'm in DG like you know I could like say a sorority because like i literally felt pressured like the greek life is so big at that school that you genuinely feel pressured if you're not in it because like it's such a big deal and they're like they want to know what sorority and you're in the frat and blah. i would say rush if you want to i met some of my best friends so oh yeah i was in delta gamma dg um i did drop the summer right before my senior year because of covid but i really did like it for the time being i met some of my best friends in it my me and my little are so fucking close like i love her she is genuinely one of my best friends like i don't look at her as like i do look at her as like a little sister like child vibes like she's my child like she's my kid i love her but like my best friend and yeah, I genuinely did meet some of my best friends. And even though I rushed as a sophomore, my PC were freshmen, I'm still so close with them. Like some of my best friends are still in school right now. Like they're seniors because um, we were in the same PC. And yeah, like you just, it, age doesn't really matter in college. Yeah, also I wouldn't discriminate because age, like whatever like grade they're in, you know, whatever. Like I'm not, I wasn't a senior hanging out with freshmen by any means, but like, my grand little was a sophomore and we like met up and like got drinks one time like she's so cute love her and with greek life date dashes were fun the rushing process was really good for me i had a great rushing process it was very smooth honestly it wasn't traumatic like i know rush talk like i feel so bad like i know like girls that like black girl in alabama like got dropped from every house like all this stuff i got dropped from one house yeah they're known to have a certain look so i wasn't even offended i kind of even knew that house wasn't for me from the jump so yeah greek life i would say it is kind of it can be toxic you can get roped in you can be like oh i'm in this sorority so like i'm top house of this you can get roped into it and i would just say stay out of labels stay out of ranking um when you're rushing i had pros and cons rushing as a sophomore because i did know the reputation of all the houses but i also wanted to go in blind and just be like um whatever house i like i like and i don't want to base it on like who's top house and who's this and i kind of just went in and didn't look at that and I did end up in DG. My roommate freshman year was in DG and she prepped me so that I had like a big emphasis on it. But freshman year I'd hung out with her and so many girls and I'd been at the house and I'd gone there to eat and I knew I loved the food and I knew I vibed with so many people in the house. So it did work out and I wouldn't change it for anything. I'm so glad like that's the house I chose. But yeah, so Greek life, it was cool, it was fun. 
Um, I'm going to talk about living situation real quick, living with friends and like just like living. So freshman year, a lot of people live in the dorms. That's like the main thing to do. And then after that, a lot of people move into the apartments. I lived in Luna my sophomore year. And now I know like back when I was a sophomore, there was only Hub, Luna, Seoul, Urbane. I'm pretty sure like only the main four. And now there's Aspire, Olive, Hub Speedway. Um... I know there's gonna be like the Parker Hub on 3rd Ave or whatever like I know there's all these apartments popping up so they just get newer and newer every year but sophomore year I lived in Luna junior year I lived in Hub Speedway and then senior year I lived in a house right across the street from CVS so it was like right on campus like if you look at CVS and diagonal like I was in a house right there like you could like I was basically on university so it was great location um, but I don't recommend like I just wish I did it, but that's a whole other story. Just living with friends, I wanna talk about that first. So junior year, I lived with all of my best friends. So there was a four, it was a four by four. We each all had our own room and bathroom. Um, by the way, just to give you guys a ballpark estimate, apartments per person are a thousand plus. Like, I'm just going to be honest, I don't really know, maybe because Luna and Soul and them are older now and there's so many new apartments, you might be able to find them in like the 800s. I'm not really sure, don't quote me on that, but we were paying like 1200 a month per person. And I would say you do get, like when I lived in Hub Speedway, like we would come home some nights from the bars at like 2 a.m. they would just have pizza in the lobby like they'd order like 50 pizzas and we would have nectar in the lobby some days and they had a free bar class free yoga class like all this food and like great perks and like they'd throw Christmas parties and have an open bar and like so you do get your perks like that was Hub Speedway though and Luna sometimes they would have food and you have a really nice gym and stuff like that um they have security your fob like whatever so you do have your perks and you but they are jipping you like you are paying a lot just that's a heads up but junior year i lived with all my best friends <laughs> and um still like we it did not ruin our friendship that is good but i don't know if i would recommend it um thank god caroline went abroad <laughs> because I think our friendship would have been ruined. I just don't think, glad we didn't live the whole year together. But there was just fights and because we were so close with each other, we're not afraid to be like, bitch, like fuck you, like boo, you know, like go off on each other. So get in fights and we weren't afraid to hold back. So it was a lot. I don't really know if I recommend living with friends. Some people can do it, some people can. I would just say take it with a grain of salt. There can be fights, there can be really good times. There were really, really good times. We'd all get along and like, it'd just be so fun. I'm like, oh my God, I love all my best friends and I love that like, any person in this apartment I'm close to and I can knock on anyone's door and just like be naked and like just you know do whatever there are ups and downs so houses I want to talk about that real quick so senior year I did live in a house it was a two by two it's me and this girl the, how I got with her is when Caroline so when I lived with all my best friends Caroline went abroad after first semester and we had a random roommate move in I ended up getting close with her and we decided to move in together because we had spent quarantine together um, the end of junior year. We moved in together my senior year. Um, we did have a falling out, unfortunately, and like aren't friends anymore. But besides that, living in a house, senior year, I had a car senior year, which was really nice, but I was in walking distance. So it's not like I needed to drive to the apartments, but all my friends lived in the apartments. and. The reason I didn't live with my friends again senior year, it was just really crazy. Quarantine happened. Everyone was scrambling to find where they were going to live. One of my best friends who I'd lived with for the past two years, I lived with her sophomore and junior year. Senior year, she didn't come back. And like we'd been living together the past two years. So I assumed we'd live together senior year. She didn't come back. And then Caroline was abroad and trying to find to live with her and just all this other stuff. Like it was just a lot. So me and the girl who had been living together, you know, throughout junior year and spent quarantine together. We're like, let's just live together, cut the drama. We don't have to find other roommates. She wanted to live in a house. I was like, I'm down as long as it's close to campus. Cause I didn't have a car at the time. Um, yeah. So I don't know. It was just all my friends lived in the apartments 
senior year so I was just li literally living at the apartments like she didn't even come back for a semester so I was living alone for a semester and one of my best guy friends I was living at their apartment every day like literally I was living with those boys like every single day I would sleep at their apartment every night and then wake up in the morning and like go to my house to like do zoom alone because it was like really distracting being at their apartment and then I'd go back and like spend the whole day there like I was living and then once all my other girlfriends came back because everyone came back at a weird time senior year too like people were just coming whenever they wanted then when all my girlfriends came back I was sleeping at their apartments every night and going there every night and I'd walk back or call an uber at like midnight and it was just a lot. I just wish I lived in the apartments. It would have been easier. But I would say if you are living in a house, um, make sure you have a car. Make sure it's close to campus. Make sure you're living with people you really like. And that'd be really cool if you and a lot of other friends lived in houses. That way you could, like, you weren't always going to the apartment. Drugs, partying, and alcohol. Woo! university of alcoholics it is called that for a reason um if you don't drink you're gonna start no i'm kidding but there's there's a very good chance you will i'm just being honest people drink a lot um i know a lot of people who have developed drug addictions like actually i know multiple like i can name multiple people obviously i'm not going to but i'm saying i can think of multiple people who had to actually go to a rehab facility like pulled out of school and had to go to rehab like drugs are scary they're no joke um yeah don't do them like i mean do whatever you want but like i would just say it can get very uh, crazy i never participate in that culture because i saw what it did to other people and i saw other people get addicted a lot of people will do molly on like for rave parties and just like roll because it's whatever and a lot of people just do like hard drugs and get into it um weed is legal in the state of arizona so you can smoke weed stay away from all the hard stuff just be safe because i actually i do know a lot of people who had have developed addictions and it has like really like ruined their life um on like a serious note but on a fun note drinking um bars are so fun uh, you don't really go to the bars as a freshman you just mostly go to frat parties and you're drinking fleshmen so like if you are going i do not i'm not condoning underage drinking i'm not encouraging underage drinking but i know a lot of you guys are gonna drink i drank as a freshman like it happens if you are gonna drink i would say pre-game before because fleshmen is disgusting and you don't want to get drunk off of it, especially with COVID now. You don't want to be passing that bottle and sharing where everyone's lips have been. Like, now with COVID and, like, you know, stuff's just open. You guys are crazy. Yeah, I would pre-game and get lit before the frat parties because their alcohol is disgusting. And, yeah, there's not, like, there's a rare chance you're going to find good alcohol there unless you, like, know someone and you, like, go in their room and it's, like, secretive. And, like, that's just a lot of work. Also, guys, when you're drinking, like, just be careful. Like, there are times where, like, you know, don't, like, take eight. To, like, I said pregame, but, like, don't take eight tequila shots to the face and then go out and then have to be taken home 15 minutes later because you're puking and the freshman boy's holding your hair back. Yeah, mm, no, babe. Like, we've seen it all. We've been there. We've seen girls there. You do not want to be that girl throwing up who got way too trashed before the party even started or like midway through like when i say pre-game like get a good level and then go out and yeah just take it with like do not end up in the hospital i never ended up in the hospital but like there are times where like it's bad guys it's scary it's scary when you see a girl passed out like literally unconscious and you have to you're and you're like do i call 911 or not so yeah um also if you haven't drank in before going to college the first time you do drink just like be very careful like start off slowly don't pound it don't alcohol does not hit you right away so don't like chug don't take like five shots and be like i don't feel anything and then like take five more and then like you're like literally in the hospital because you don't know how to handle your alcohol your liquor and you took it too far like pace it drink water There's so many opportunities to go out like i said all those days like if you just maybe one night take like 
one shot or two if you've never drank before you know take like two shots one night and then just see and then maybe have like a mixed drink later and like that's all for tonight but then that weekend we take three shots you know like just wean into it don't go crazy don't make your parents be scared and like you're in the hospital and then you have to get pulled out of school because your parents like don't trust you <sighs> yeah please 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 be safe IDs. I never had one. I know I'm lame. My friends had fake IDs. Ben's is a really big bar that everyone loves. Gentle Ben's, like, that is, like, the place to go on Thursdays. No Chopes was a Friday's before COVID. Now I think it's, like, opening up back again. Um, the Ben's bouncers were kind of really strict about fake IDs and stuff, so just make sure you have a good fake ID. But for the most part, if you're a freshman, go to the frat parties with all the other freshmen. I'm pretty sure the frats are popping again, and I'm when I was a freshman, that was the thing to do. Everyone went to the frat parties and people started going to the bars like junior year because junior year is when people start turning 21 and it's like, when's your birthday? And I never had a fake ID, so I just, just wait till my birthday. But once my 21st birthday happened, I was at the bars and it was so fun. And yeah, the big party nights I would say are Thursday nights and then Saturdays. Saturdays are, Thursday nights are just, you know, thirsty Thursdays, everyone goes out that night. Older people go to the bar, younger people go to the frats. Saturdays, if it's a game day, you're probably gonna tailgate, and tailgate is literally just getting drunk at the frats in like a game day outfit. Older people usually go to university and drink, and then after football season, it's just like there's it's just Saturdays. Like literally, the schedule is usually you get mimosas at like the Dutch Hi Fi, wherever you get bottomless mimosas, and then you just drink on university or fourth all day. Yeah, younger kids just like go to frats and you just party all day and that's a saturday and also freshman year it's like you know like margarita monday tequila tuesday wine wednesday thirsty thursday like friday like guys go crazy like freshmen like there's something for you every night but my mom taught me don't be that girl at every party and i was going out like every i not every night not every night there i stayed in i studied there were nights i sacrificed like i said i stayed and i studied but i was going out a lot but you also do not want to be that girl at every party i did learn after a while but go go out a lot a lot but like no one to stay in but yeah there's a night for literally everything like they're crazy like monday night you want to go out like there's something for you like i promise you will get sick of it at some point because it is a lot we party hard at u of a kim kardashian did you see her in suppose where she said she didn't even go to u of a just visiting courtney she didn't drink that much because she was tired out because that's how hard we party so yeah if it may cause kim kardashian to stop drinking were the reason for that so just get ready <laughs> not to like scare you i don't want someone's like mom watching this video and being like oh my god i don't want my kid going there and like becoming an alcoholic like it's fine it's fine we have fun like i i graduated on time i graduated with good grades you know here i am i still want to pursue career in science you know we, I, my head is on my shoulders so it's okay it's okay like i've been talking like a mile a minute like i'm actually like out of breath like <sighs> next one dating hookup culture okay guys oh wow 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 so i'm just gonna be straight up and say i never had a boyfriend all throughout college i don't know if it's like a race thing i'm not trying to like pull the race card but like i just never had a boyfriend throughout all of college i had um situationships i guess you would want to say i talked to people for times but never had a boyfriend um hookup culture is real at our school oh she i'm not saying that to scare you but like i just know a lot of people who are not faithful to their girlfriends Ugh, story time okay story time so there was this boy my junior year let's call him steve so steve and me had made out at a few parties here and there you know i would see him at his frat and it would just be like innocent nothing crazy you know never did anything like crazy whatever just like would make out we would talk a lot there was an attraction between us so time we were gonna like there was always stuff blocking and i guess it was like the universe i don't know there's always stuff blocking why we couldn't like 
hang out but we would just never hang out and then he got a girlfriend what i saw on social media so i kind of just backed away whenever i was his frat i would never really go up to him blah 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 and then eventually i don't really know what happened but fucking again and i was like oh want to come over like i genuinely don't remember how this happened but he was like yeah i think he hit me up like i think he hit me up and i was like do you want to come over and he was like yeah so he came over that night and he came to my apartment we were in my room we were just talking catching up because we haven't seen each other in a while and i'm like so like why did you and your girlfriend break up and he was like what do you mean and i was like what do you mean he was like we didn't break up and i was like so why why are you at why are you at my house right now like i huh like why are you hanging out with me if you have a girlfriend he goes guys he goes it's not like i'm gonna marry her what so since you're not gonna marry her it's okay to just cheat on her i was like fuck no like get out like bye like no like leave like what like and so then i messaged the girlfriend you know like on insta like hey girly like you know, like, are you Steve's girlfriend? Like, I'm so sorry, but he came over and blah, 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 and tried to hang out with me and told me he's still with you. And she was like, thanks for telling me. Guys, tell me why, oh my gosh. And like, I, why does, why do bad things happen to good people? He would like, Steve like had friends in my apartment building that year. So I would see him from time to time. And like, he would bring his girlfriend around. I was going, and this was after I told him, the girlfriend, she was like, thanks for telling me. They stayed together. Like, they stayed together. So one time, I'm just in my apartment building, minding my business, and I go into the elevator. And the elevator opens, and it's them two. And we have to ride the elevator up together to my floor. It's them two and me, just, like, in the elevator, us three, just, like, awkwardly, like, she knows it's me, I'm pretty sure. I know it's them. Like, it's just so awkward, and we're just sitting there, and we're just like, many shit so just be careful um yeah boys love there's a lot of pretty girls at that school like there are so many beautiful girls at the university of arizona and like that is a whole thing in itself like go off like love that there are so many beautiful girls but heads can be tanned if you watch love island you know what i mean so yeah just be careful i'm not gonna i'm not saying your boyfriend is gonna cheat on you i'm just saying i know a lot of relationships that were like unfaithful but i also know a few relationships that made it out were strong were tough like let's go but unfortunately i do know a lot of like unfaithful ones but yeah hookup culture is crazy um just be careful a lot of boys will think you want to hook up with them just from you know first night like a lot of people like one night stands are common at the u of a or like not one night stands but just like meeting someone hooking up with them right away hookup culture is huge at our school so just be careful if you're not into that um make sure you let people know like if you're going home with someone um and going home with someone is not an invitation to have sex with them at all like you can literally like go home with someone because you met them out that night you really like them you go home with them you sleep in the same bed and like just make out whatever and it's like you keep your clothes on and like that can happen like literally like stuff like that can happen but just be make sure you like are aware with the guy and like tell him and just be safe about it because you know you don't want to like be in an uncomfortable situation a lot of people do not want to settle down freshman year just be careful freshman year i know one couple that got together freshman year and they're still together to this day so stuff happens i'm not trying to scare you or like lose hope if you want a boyfriend it can happen um but a lot of boys freshman year because this advice is more towards freshmen will just want to hook up and jump around and there's so much and they're like ah i can't be everywhere i don't know what i want so just be careful what you're getting yourself into if you get yourself into like a friends with benefits situation um are you guys open to like seeing other people because like you don't want them to see other people and you catch feelings and then it's you know or you hook up with other people and they catch feelings and blah 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 like you need to make sure yeah hooking up is just really big and it's just one big 
cesspool, honestly. Yeah, just know your boundaries, know your emotions. There are so many dumb, dumb boys that I've like, been, like shed tears over, just like been so upset about or like, mm, and it's like, babe, they didn't even like you. Like, it's harsh, but like they didn't. Like, or just, you know, it's, they don't want to date you, so get over it. So you'll know, you'll know if a guy really, really likes you and wants to be with you, you will know, trust me. So, um, comparing itself, like I said, there are so many pretty people that go there, but you are you and like, yeah, um, I am not, a lot of girls there are, and I'm not talking, I have so many like blonde, like beautiful friends that go there that are just, you know, like blonde Barbie looking, like go off queen, like bad bitch, okay. Um, if you're not blonde, don't be insecure. If you're not like a zero, don't be insecure. If you're not, if you don't look this way, if you don't have this, do not be insecure. Do not compare yourself to other people. That is the worst medicine. I know people who like have actually developed eating disorders because they've compared themselves to other people at that school. So many people who have literally dyed their hair blonde because they want to be so-and-so at this school and they want so-and-so to like them, like, or they want more boys to look at them. Like, no, you are you, you are beautiful, it doesn't matter. Like, be confident, Sw do whatever you want to do to be confident, but do not compare yourself to other people because comparison is the, what is it? Comparison is the thief of happiness or something, whatever that quote is. Yeah, that will steal all your joy. So just be you, be hot. You're a hot girl, period. Just know that. Walk around like you're the baddest bitch in the town and don't compare yourself because like, why waste your time doing that? Like, ugh, really? Quickly, financials. I am so, so, so blessed that my parents paid for my tuition, paid my rent, gave me an allowance. Like, I never had to work throughout college. I did work in the summers, but I never saved money. I'd save like, what, $1,000 and like, it just like blowed all my first month getting back to school. You spend so much money at the U of A. So if you are paying it on your own, I am so sorry. I, do, I am not the loan financial aid scholarship expert. I had a scholarship straight from high school just because of my grades. In state is way cheaper than out of state. I know that. So I am not like the money gal, but just like money as in like going out with friends and stuff, you will spend a lot of money. Like alcohol is expensive. Going out to eat is expensive. Cute ass shops, like going to Swindlers every day is expensive. So just make sure you are saving your money, spending it wisely. Yeah, I would just go through money so fast and I'd always be like calling up my mom and like my grandma and be like, hey, can you like get money, give me money? And they'd be like, um, you need to budget. So yeah, just be prepared. We're gonna spend a lot of money. So if you are financially doing this on your own, I am so sorry, but like you got this, you got, you will get through it. And be prepared. Hack though, if your parents are paying for your tuition, <laughs> There's a little thing I love called the bursar. Ah, guys, bursar will be your best friend. Do not tell your parents about this. Bursar is for books, okay? Sorry, mom and dad, I will, hopefully you're not watching this video. Um, So basically we have this thing called bursar where your cat card, cat card, this, oh, look at little baby freshman, me. I'm, my nails, let's not talk about it, okay? But like little baby freshman me, oh. It won't focus, but anyway, so this is your cat card. This is your ID. You get into your dorm with this. You pay for like your meal plan, or we don't have like meal plan, like, you know, when you go to Chick-fil-A and all that with this. I'd love to talk about food, like vegan, but I wasn't a vegan freshman year. So I was turned vegan once I started living in my own apartment, making my own food. So yeah, sorry, my ADD. This isn't about vegan, this is about bursa. Okay, that is your card. Um, so you can use that to bursa things. So you can go to the bookstore. Our bookstore has iPads. One of my best friends burst an iPad. Your bursa limit is $1,000 a semester. So do not just go and get an iPad and then be upset because you can't burst or anything else because you bought an iPad and spent your $1,000. But the bookstore has I bursted AirPods, guys. <laughs> My AirPods were free. I bursered them. Yes, you can burser Ray-Bans. You can burser like any Apple products, books, um, your school books. That's usually what burser is for. I burser all my school books and then my bill. I tell my parents at the end, you know, everything was books. So do that. Buy your books with burser, but also buy other stuff. Also, the biggest hack I learned is cat cash. Cat cash is you use your cat card, but it's cash and it works at certain stores. So 
Go on Google, type in Cat Cash, click on where it works, and it'll be a list of stores. It works at Whole Foods, um, Gentle Ben's, Illegal Pete's. Guys, it works at Beach Bunny, so you can go get a Brazilian wax, eyebrow wax, get a spray tan with your cat cash like for free like oh my god you could shop at certain boutiques on university with cat cash um it works at restaurants it works at drinks for some restaurants and not drinks at others um so be careful like with alcoholic drinks like it doesn't work for alcoholic drinks at Ben's, but it'll pay for your food there um it works at yeah whole foods some places on 4th avenue like cat cash is amazing and you can burst her cat cash but you can only burst her in person Go to the union downstairs in the little cat cash bursar office and yeah you can burst your cat cash and that has saved me when a girl has been poor i was poor one time and i bursted cat cash you know 250 dollars. i bought i was buying clothes i was buying food like i bought groceries like i was set and so yeah that will get you far so if your parents are paying for your purse or you know just tell them it was all for books and just sneak everything else on it yeah thousand dollar limit and books are expensive so you can really you know play it up but like yeah i i didn't tell you this so i just want to talk about growing up changing you are not the same person you are when you graduate high school like the person i graduated high school i don't even know her like the friends i had in high school that i don't really talk to anymore um they don't know me like you if you're watching this video right now and have not talked to me since high school you do not know me and like i don't know you like you change so much during your years like even just from freshman year to sophomore year you change so much because you're still kind of in that high school mindset when you first get there freshman year by the end of your freshman year you're like a whole new different person like you go home from summer and your friends are like who the fuck is this and you're like who the fuck are you like you change so much and that is okay guys change is a part of life you are supposed to grow up it is okay like I had some best friends in high school. Like, I'm like, you're my best friend. Like, spent every day with them in high school, and we don't talk anymore, and that's okay, and we've moved on. And, like, I have my college best friends now that I know are my best friends for life. Like, high school, I was a different person. That's why we clicked in high school. Now we're not, and so we. it's okay. Friendships come and go. It's okay. Like... You just become such a different person. You grow up. When you graduate, you look back. I look back on my freshman year and I'm like, who was that baby? Like, she was so cute and she had so much to learn. And, like, she is going to, like, go through so much and go through so much sadness and all blah, 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 blah. But, like, she'll get through it. And, like, it is okay, guys. You grow so much. You change and it's fine. And you come out better. And you have a glow up. And you, it is fun. College is, like, the best four years of your life so far. So far not forever like it is the amazing four years but i just know life's gonna get better every year but i miss it so much i have fomo like guys i literally had to delete snapchat for my home screen because i was watching my friend's stories who were still in school and i'm like so sad i'm not there like seeing them like go out <laughs> i am sad but like you have so much fun i highly 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 recommend university of arizona if you or on the fence if you're on the fence between asu and u of a you better go to u of a okay don't even know but if you are on the fence about going anywhere i would say go to the university of arizona like it was so fun i met like the best friends the best people like i just had the best college experience fuck covid but besides that it was amazing and i had so much fun so I hope these tips helped you guys. I hope you take some advice from it. I really don't even know. Like, I feel like I just blacked out that whole video and just rambled and said so much stuff. And, like, I don't even know if I gave any helpful advice, but I hope I did. I hope you took something from this video. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you want to see next. Let me know if you have any other tips, if you have any other questions about U of A. And... Follow me on Instagram and yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye.